Okay guys, um, I'm gonna make another video uh, and put a link in the description for the updates. Uh, there is no new update for the Amatsunar Bolero, but I've acquired, um, I think, another two or three versions for the second generation of uh, Amundsen and Valero and I acquired one for the Columbus for the one with the big touchscreen um, so uh, I will you I will need your email because um, I'm not gonna put the download link because I don't want to have problems with Skoda lawyers because um, I'm not making money on this I'm, I'm, I'm giving it away for free uh, the links just to help you guys uh, but I'm gonna be sharing it through the email so uh, just one thing to explain about this is the first generation and uh, some of you have been asking me well how do I know I have a first or second generation and uh, the difference is first generation has a smaller screen um, second one's slightly bigger like wider and uh, the obvious uh, thing uh, that is different is oh my gosh, it's not on. Uh, okay, no sound. I don't want to have a copyright strike. Um, the obvious um, uh, is the graphic user interface. I'm sorry, it's really sunny, so. This is the first one. Uh, I'm gonna try putting a video of a second one that I took a shot in the uh, car show in the VRS. Um, so the graphic interface is different. Uh, this one's gray with green. The other ones in the second generation is black with white line lines. Um, and the other thing is on the second generation, you have a um, um, Apple and Android uh, connections and Merrilink. And in the glove compartment, uh, the first generation has a CD. And on the second generation, this is blank. So, and it was introduced in, I think, 2015, May. I'm not sure now. And... Uh, Definitely the second generation doesn't have a uh, CD option, so that's how you can make sure you uh, have a second generation. There's a third generation coming, but the fancy ones with a full touch screen, the other one's gonna be uh, with the buttons, uh, but we haven't seen those because uh, Chikoda should be selling uh, the Octavia 3 uh, facelift version uh, next month, so. This is it, I'm gonna put some pictures uh, in this video so you guys can see uh, the pictures of the first and second generation and uh, I'm gonna just type in the, the description of this video below uh, what uh, other softwares I have so I can share it to you guys so you can do the update. And another thing I wanted to show you um, now that I just remembered that I've uh, another question I had was about the the language no the language is um, languages we have here is so let me see here guys um, the languages are um, Languages English and mine. Um, okay. I don't know why was it grayed out. Okay, these are the languages, guys. Um, we have, um, and also these. So those are all the languages. Uh, so it's English, uh, UK, uh, Czech, French, Netherlands. 
uh, Polsky, uh, Russian, Turkish, Swedish, uh, Portuguese, uh, Norwegian, Italian, uh, Spanish, and German. Those are the languages. Um, there is no Croatian, um, and I don't think there's Slovenian either. So, so that answers your question, guys. Uh, I'm getting this from Russian forums. So, uh, I've been asking in the uh, service they can do they they can do update on my uh, so I can have creation and use the voice commands but they say it doesn't not isn't the, they don't have it and that it's not working that all the uh, navigation systems are in English there isn't there is no creation I'm not sure is that really true but um, it doesn't matter I know English pretty good so I'm fine with that so that's that's it for this video guys thanks for watching uh, thumbs up and subscribe